everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Whitney if you did not know. Before I get started with this video, you know I always have to do these little like announcements or like complaints or whatever. But um, so I just want to mention I'm having a rough time. Um, I meant to upload this video last week and I had it filmed and ready to go. And I took my little memory card, my little, you know, like SD card over to my mom's house because I was house sitting for her for the weekend. And I was planning on um, editing and uploading over at her house while we were over there. And I had probably three pretty long good videos filmed on there. And so we went over there. I didn't keep it in a bag. I just kind of carried it with me. I wasn't very smart about it and I lost my SD card that goes with my camera, my good one that I've had forever and it's so good and I lost it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked all over her house and I lost it at her house and I cannot find it. So I was like, okay, it's fine. You know, I have a backup. I lost those videos. One of them was a plan with me, which obviously I can't refilm the plan with me because it's already done. So I was like, all right, that's okay. It's okay. I have another, I have a backup. I had a brand new memory card. Um, it came in this packaging, looks like this, and I've had it for a while, um, it's, it says it's 32 gigabytes, I guess I didn't pay attention when I bought it, but it says on here, ideal for cell phone and iPad. So it doesn't work in my camera, now I have this 32 gigabyte little chip, and it says it, it's for um, iPad and cell phone. So that doesn't do me any good. And when I put it in my camera, it says memory card error. So luckily I had this two gigabyte, two, literally two gigabyte um, in my little point and shoot camera that I'm using until I can get a new memory card. So we better move on with this video because no telling how long we got to film this. <laughs> so that's kind of my struggles lately. Um, today in this video, I am going to talk to you guys all about tanning tanning in a tanning bed. I am not a professional. I don't know everything there is to know about tanning, um, but I just kind of wanted to make a video about everything you should know if you're planning on going tanning in a tanning bed because I have been tanning for years and I feel like I kind of know the whole ropes and everything like that. I'm not telling you what you can and can't do. I know some, a lot of people are against tanning. Um, it is my own personal choice to go tanning I don't go every day, I don't go all year round, every month, no. I have certain spurts of each year that I go and I will explain those to you. Obviously you wanna go and search up the risk and you know, cancer and all that stuff is involved when you're risking by going tanning. So you might wanna go and Google that and search all that up. Make sure you are well aware of every possible thing that could happen, skin cancer, all that kind of stuff before you decide to go tanning because it is kind of a big choice to kind of a risk that you're willing to take if you go. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you all the risk and all that stuff. If you wanna go tanning, go search those up yourself. But I do wanna help you guys and kind of give different ideas and just my, my experience with tanning and just what to expect when you go in there for your first time. So a little background history um, on myself. I started tanning my junior year of high school. I only went tanning for prom because prom was coming up and I wanted to be tan. So that's the only reason I went. You know, all the other girls were going. I was like, wow, you know, I want to be tan in my dress too. So I went. I went to the my local tanning salon. We always have deals and packages and monthly specials where you pay a certain price and you can tan all month long unlimited, which is what I usually do. Or they have, you know, you can pay for like eight times or you can just pay every time you go. They have different stuff like that. I'm sure your tanning salon will too. When I first went tanning, I was a little awkward. I didn't really understand it. So that was about the time I started tanning. I only went, you know, like a month or two. I went every, a few times a week, once, once a week for a few months, up until prom, and then I stopped. And it wasn't until my senior prom, so a whole year later, before I started tanning again. So what I like to do when I go tanning is I pick a month out of the year that I want to go. Usually I only do it about one or two months out of a whole year. Usually around the winter time, I will go to the tanning salon to try to catch up on my tan for summer. Obviously it could be different 
where you go, but this is just how it is where I go. They have high intensity beds and then they have regular beds. They have four beds total and they also have a standing bed, which I have never done the stand up tanning bed where you stand and get tan. You, if you've done that, then please let me know your experience because I've thought about trying it, but I don't know really anything about it. So I've never done that. The ones I go to you lay down in and you pull the thing over you. So the high intensity beds are obviously um, high intensity. They work quicker, they're hotter, they just kind of get you darker faster. And then the regular beds get you darker just more so over time and not so like harsh and high intensity if you know what I mean. Sometimes I do a mixture of both. Usually when I'm just starting out after not going for a year, I'll start in the regular bed and I'll go like 10 minutes and then I'll work my way up over time. I'll go up a couple minutes until I get all the way up to 20 minutes. And if I go in high intensity, it only goes up to 15 minutes. So I usually switch over to high intensity once I get about 15 to 18 minutes in regular, then I can switch over to high intensity and I know I'm not gonna burn. Um, they do tell you though, if you burn in the sun outside, you're going to most likely burn the tanning bed. So don't even try, don't even try. You're just wasting your money. But, why do I keep clapping? They basically provide you with everything you will need in the tanning bed. They will give you your little goggles, which you must wear to protect your eyes. I know a lot of girls don't wear it and they just like play on their phone. And I think that's horrible. Like you need to protect your eyes. There was UV rays going on your eyes is not good. I always wear my goggles and I recommend you do the same. Another thing they provide me with is a towel, which is really nice. Um, basically a towel you can use to cover up certain areas, which I will get more into in a minute. Um, or to kind of, I always like to wipe down the bed after I'm done just because I feel like that's common courtesy to just kind of wipe down your sweat. I don't know about you, I don't know your situation, but for me, I always sweat in a tanning bed, like hardcore sweating. Like I feel like I'm in a sauna because <laughs> I'm tanning but I'm also sweating. Like I always have so much sweat after I'm done, it's gross. But I use that to kind of wipe off my body and wipe off my sweat and just kind of refresh myself before I put my clothes back on. Which is one thing I want to touch base on um, is the clothes situation. So um, those are the two things that my place provides, which is very nice. They also provide a fan to blow on you and it just blows on you so you can get some cool air on you so you don't get too, too hot because it can get uncomfortably hot after a while. I have um, at my place is a radio, which is super cool. You can just turn it to whatever station you want and turn it up and just, it's so relaxing, you guys. That's the reason I go tanning mainly. Obviously I want to look like a bronze goddess. Hey, but um, most of the, just, it's just so relaxing. When I am having a stressful day and I just need to clear my head, I love to go to the tanning bed, turn on my favorite music, put the goggles on and just close my eyes and tan. I love it. It's just so relaxing for me. It's like, I know there are tanning beds where you have to stop it yourself. So if you fall asleep, like you're gonna like burn because you're not gonna stop it. But at my place, um, you tell them how long you want to go for and type in 15 minutes for you and get it set up. And then all you have to do is go in there and push start. And then once the 15 minutes is up and then it will shut off and you're done. So if you do fall asleep at a place like mine, you're good. You're only going to go your 15 minutes and then it's going to turn off and you won't become a lobster. So back to the um, clothing situation. When I first went, I didn't know, you know, are you supposed to like go butt naked? Are you supposed to like wear your bra and underwear? Like, how would you do it? So I kind of asked my lady when she was explaining it all to me, I was like, you know, do I leave my bra on? It's kind of awkward, but I did ask her, you know, like, do I leave my bra on? Or like, should I take it off? And she's like, oh, we recommend taking it off because, you know, you're gonna have tan lines and the metal parts on the ball isn't good reaction with a tanning bed or something, I don't know. So my personal, um, my personal preference, I don't wear a bra and but I don't like to tan my boobs like hardcore. I know this is really personal, but I'm gonna go for it. Um, so their towel they provide, I do like to lay it across my chest and half the time I'll leave it on and half the time I'll take it off just because I don't wanna like fry my boobs. That's TMI, but if you're gonna go tanning, now you know. You know, you don't wanna fry your boobs, so there you go. And you don't want crazy tan lines either, like, nah. So, um, if you guys have any questions about anything, if you're thinking about going tanning and you wanna know a little bit more, please feel free to comment below and ask me, I would love to help. The last and final thing I wanna talk about is tanning lotions. Now, I'm sure your salon will have some that you can purchase, 
or I just got mine at Walmart. You can find tanning lotions anywhere. I only have one to show you. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. This is the Salon Formula EG Dark Tanning Lotion. And it says European Gold Dark Star Ultra or something. Bronzing Technology and Tattoo Enhancing Complex. Indoor tanning. So this is what it looks like. Go ahead and get you guys a good look. This one does have like a bronzing color to it, so it's kind of gross, but if you guys can kind of see, I don't know if you can see or not, but it does have a brown color because it's like instant bronzing. Basically, you just want to put it on all over your body. Um, I usually focus it on my legs and my arms just because that's the main place I want to get tan. If, it, if it's not like super tan everywhere else, it doesn't really bother me. And just want to rub it out in really well and then probably about 10 to 15 minutes, probably about 10 minutes before you go tanning to let it kind of soak in your skin and then go tanning. Whenever I bought this one, I just kind of saw it was a tanning lotion, so I just picked it up and grabbed it. Now, what it says on the back is, 100X Bronzer uses European Gold's latest deep wave and tattoo enhancing technologies for the darkest tan ever and a more vivid looking tattoo. I don't have tattoos at all, so I would not have bought this if I would have read, actually read the bottle, so <laughs> read your bottle. Um, obviously it's for a dark tan, so that's why I use it, and I do think it kind of enhances my tan, not as good as it could, but it does do a decent job. But this one is also, like if you have tattoos, if you put it on before you go tanning and it keeps your tan, like your tattoos from fading. I don't have tattoos, so I don't necessarily need this, but... <laughs> If you have tattoos, then you might check this out. So, I think that is all I wanted to talk about. Um, those are just kind of everything you need to know before you're going to go tanning. Um, if you do have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I just love tanning, and I wanted to talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!